true happiness. What's the difference between true happiness and happiness? Well, for me, what I've noticed as a happiness expert for the last, oh gosh, I guess it's been at least 15 years. Most people, when they talk about what makes you happy and how to live in happiness, they're talking about stuff outside of themselves. They're saying things like, go for a walk in nature, take a bubble bath, relax with a friend, have a glass of wine, all these things that happen outside of you. And the thing about stuff that happens outside of you, it doesn't last forever. It goes away. You get tired of it. It disappears. True happiness, on the other hand, that happens inside you. No one and nothing brings you happiness. It's within, it's called intrinsic values. How did I discover the difference between happiness and true happiness? It was, oh gosh, 11, 12 years ago, I had some brain surgery. And when I woke up from the brain surgery, I had lost some nerves that let me function fully. And so there I was lying in bed. I couldn't talk. I definitely couldn't walk. I could barely move my head and I had to do it with my hands. I couldn't swallow. A big part of my face was paralyzed. However, I was high. I felt like I had just finished a workout and I've been addicted to working out since I was a kid. You know when those endorphins flow? Man, you feel really good like you're flying. Well, I felt that way. Well, how in the world could I have felt that good with all these key things about my body not working? Well, because I talked to my guides, I talked to my angels, I talked to the universe. I asked, what is going on? How could I be happy in this state? And the immediate response was, this is true happiness. Oh, so what does that mean? True happiness means regardless of what your circumstances are, these were not pleasing circumstances. <laughs> Regardless of what's going on in your life, in your body, in your world, you know with all your being deep in your heart and your spirit, you know you're fine. You're taken care of. You're never alone. You know it's true there's one energy and we're all connected because we are all made of that same energy. Well, why? Why is it so important to live in true happiness? Well, you know, bad things happen in everybody's life. Boy, I'll tell you, I consider that a really bad result in my life. And I knew it wasn't going to stop me because it was such an eye-opening awareness that I never could have imagined before. So, you know, things happen. Sometimes you have a, a surgery like I had, or people have accidents, or they get hurt, or they get sick. Sometimes they lose a job, or they might lose a home or a best friend. All kinds of bad things happen. And when you live in true happiness, you know you'll deal with it, you know you are okay, and you'll be able to bounce back. Yeah, your world will be altered because of what happened, but you're not going to be depressed or completely taken out of life because of the bad thing that happens. Let me give you a simple way to understand that. 
let's say on a scale of one to 10 with 10 being everything in my life is perfect and one being I'm not sure I want to be here anymore. When you have your life, when you're living your life, and I discovered this over time, if you're living your life at the very least a seven on that one to 10 scale, then when bad things happen and you get knocked down, you're able to bounce back. For instance, let's say you're living your life on a seven at a 10 scale. And all of a sudden, your best friend's moving away. I mean, your best friend, like you talk to each other every day. You spend time a few times a week together. So talking on the phone, well, it'll be doable, but it's not the same thing. So you might find losing your best friend on a regular in-person experience. You must find that you're getting knocked down by like five life points. So you're starting at a seven and it's knocking you all the way down to a two. That's a long way down. How are you gonna get back up to a seven? Because you know how it feels to be at a seven because you know you're not alone because you know you live in true happiness and you really, really are a seven. So you can tell your body, mind, spirit, yes, I really am a seven. And you can picture and you can feel throughout your being what your life is like when you're a seven. And you're gonna get back to that seven pretty quickly. Yes, it was a loss and yes, you'll have emotions but you're not going to get stuck in your emotions. You're going to have a clear picture of what happened without the painful emotions attached. That's why it's so critical to live your life at the very, very least at a seven on a one to 10 scale. Now let's look at it from what if you were living your life at a five. And this event happened, your friend moves away, but you're only at a five, and it's a life event that takes you down five points, you're now at zero. How the heck are you gonna come back when you got nothing there to move you forward? And life at a five, yes, you're gonna go picture yourself back, up, back at the five, but it's a whole lot tougher to go from a zero up to a five than it is to go from a two to a seven because you don't have the same resilience when you start at a five that you do when you're at a seven. So the first thing you want to do, discovering what true happiness is for you and then making your world one where you're living at a seven, an eight, a nine, even a 10. And that's what you do, it's a choice. And you gotta change the way you're running your head. And you gotta change the program in your heart, in your body, mind, spirit, that has you at a lower number. It doesn't happen by magic. However, it's kind of like magic when you make the choice because nothing's impossible and you can get yourself there. Why do you want to live up at a seven? Do you know that happy people are healthier? Their immune system's better. They enjoy more success in business, in relationships, in just joy and fun of living. And the next thing to do to help get yourself to that higher number. Many, many years ago, I wished I could be somebody who smiled all the time because I thought people like that were really cool. Most of them aren't 
doing real smiles. But the rare person who is, that's who I wanted to be. Because I can only imagine at that point what it feels like to have a real smile. That's just a habit that you do all the time. And I decided to do that. Yeah, I figured out I don't just want to be that. I am that. And I decided that. And so I started smiling. I frequently wake up from sleep, wake up in the morning smiling. When I'm meditating, I'm aware that I'm frequently smiling. Not because I'm telling myself to, but because it's become a habit. Why do you want it to be a habit for you? When you smile, your posture improves. When your posture improves, you have more air getting into your lungs. Your air, it's your life force. You want your lungs to expand, and they do that when your posture improves. So you immediately feel better when you smile. Go ahead right now. In case you weren't smiling a moment ago, smile right now. And you smile with your whole face, with your cheeks, with your eyes. That's a real smile. Somebody once measured the difference between a pretend smile, and we all know what that looks like, and a real smile. They said there was an eighth of an inch difference in what your lips are doing. I believe them. I've never tried measuring them. It makes sense to me. But what was so cool when I started that habit some years ago, because I was walking around not even thinking about smiling, but just smiling. I walked by people, and I counted one day. I wanted to know how many people did it. Of the number of people who looked at me, all of them smiled. However, a count of 10, only six out of the ten people I passed by looked at me. It's interesting that people don't make eye contact. In fact, those four that didn't look at me as I passed by walking on a path, they turned and looked the other way. Like, maybe they were afraid to look at me. Maybe they were afraid I'd see into them and see right into who they really were. I don't know why people look away when you smile at them. I'm not going to try and figure it out. I just know I'm going to keep smiling because most people will smile. I've been walking down a sidewalk, you know, like in a shopping center where cars were driving by looking for parking places. And I remember one car, don't do this if you're driving, but this one person looked like I was coming this way, and she was driving up the other direction, right? And she glanced, she didn't have to turn her head all the way because we were a distance apart. And she saw my smile, and she smiled real big. And it was really, really cool because I feel like when I see somebody break into a smile who wasn't smiling before, I know it changed. It physically and emotionally changed them. And I love to feel that something as simple as smiling at people can make a change, an instant change like that in another person's world. I remember one day I was walking down a street in Manhattan in New York City, and I was approaching an older man. He was either in a lot of pain or super upset about something. He just looked really sad and preoccupied. And as I approached him, and I was within the distance where people who see me usually smile back, he didn't. So, well, I kept smiling anyway. And by the time I was just a few feet from him, he looked right at me, and he smiled. And he kept smiling as I walked by. I don't know, but I have a feeling in that moment, at least, I brought him to a different reality. You see, when he's smiling and it becomes a habit, you feel good. 
that means your energy that's going out in the world is a happy, relaxed energy. And people may not even know why they feel better when they're near you and when they see you smile and they smile too. That's just how the world works. I've written very many books about happiness and how to be happy. And I have a gift for you. And there'll be a link in the show notes where you can pick up. It's a checklist, how to be happy now. And it's seven simple steps that will take you from any crummy or ho-hum or stuck mood to a place of feeling happy, smiling, and feeling good through your whole being. So be sure you check that out. Yeah, I thank you very much for joining me here today because today is my day to share a new episode of Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. Because that's definitely what you're doing when you're connecting your heart and your mind. You're spreading smiles and peace and joy throughout your being and throughout everyone who comes into your world. Remember to join our Facebook group. I put something in there every day and it's usually only one to two minutes long. And if you go in there and the link is down below to get in there and you get to experience it. You get to have one or two minutes of just stepping out of your world where things are stuck and people aren't smiling to a place where you get to smile and feel the love. You can also ask questions in there and you can make a new friend. In fact, if you go in there, I'd sure love to know where do you live? And do you have any topics you'd especially enjoy on this podcast? Also, I appreciate your writing a review so people can find us, so we can expand to even more countries. We're in countries I never even heard of. And that's fun because the whole world has just gotten so much smaller in the podcast, especially when I'm sharing it on video, reaches so many more people. And they'll reach even more if you can leave a review, which you can do on our show site. And the link for that is also in the show notes. Because you know what else you can do on our show site? You can listen to or watch any episode that's there. And the cool thing about podcasts, just like YouTube, they're permanently there. So I still have people downloading from the very first season. And we're coming up in May. It will be our third season starting. I also appreciate your joining our community. It takes a lot of work and effort. It also takes expense to present and produce a show every week. And when you join our community... You get to join me live for a live chat every month. Then we can really talk and share who we are and where we come from and why we're listening to this particular show in your favorite show because the link for our community is also in the show notes. Remember, and definitely pertaining to the topic of happiness. Remember to enjoy, and that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment, because your joy, your love, and your happiness, it's within you. It can't happen outside of you. You're processing. Your body only experiences inside. And I look forward to being here with you next time.